hi and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel um, we're doing the rising sign readings and I'm up to the sign of Leo rising and yes I've got a band-aid because I um, caught my nail on something and it kind of ripped it down a little too far under the thing so I have to keep a band-aid on it so that it's not going to rip the catch on something else and completely rip in you know too far so yeah so it'll be painful if I don't have this on so anyway um now I I often say if there's any headlines and um for the month and you most of if not all of you already know that Pluto's been retrograde for a while now and will stay retrograde for a while still um Saturn just recently turned retrograde I'm not sure about the two other uh, uh, two outer planets of um, Uranus and Neptune because they will eventually be retrograde but I'm not sure if in July that we'll yet feel their effects of the pre-shadow not sure about that because I didn't actually concentrate on looking up what was going on with them um, so anyway we're concentrating on Venus she'll be um, retrograding on the 22nd of July and those of you who've been following um, the my videos you, you'll know I've been promising for a while to get this Venus retrograde video done and it's been a labour of love so to speak um, I love astrology so it's not a negative for me but it's just that I wanted to make sure I got as much information as I could together um, for you guys um, but there's a lot that happens behind the scenes. It's not a matter of just clicking on the phone camera and getting it done because I'm going to actually be doing it through my um, PC and um, I'm, I'm going to be showing charts and that sort of thing. So, yeah, and I've been furiously making notes for ages now and then, and then editing and all that sort of So there's a lot that I've been doing um, but yeah, I, I do plan to have that up there. I'm really close to getting to nearly having it done now. So I'll be, um, putting a little post in the community tab to let you know once I'm able to upload it and hopefully I can upload it to the community tab. Um, because that way you'll be able to, to, um, go to it straight away rather than try and sift through all the other videos to try and find it. Um, yeah, so that's that's the plan. So I'm going to see how how it uploads and if if I if I can do it properly to upload it into the community tab um, and go from there. But yeah, it'll definitely um, give you some ideas of what to look out for, what to how to navigate um, the energies of Venus retrograde. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to hopefully start to work on the Jupiter retrograde, who he won't be retrograde until early September. So I've got a bit of time to work on, on him. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to um, get that one through to you guys closer to that date as well. Um, but for now, I am keeping my promise and I'm going to um, get the Venus retrograde video up and running for you guys um, very very soon so stay tuned for that um, yeah so I think that's all that I wanted to mention um, yeah I don't think there's anything else at this point for this month so yeah um, if I've forgotten anything I'll put it in the description box but yeah I think I've, I've covered for now what we need to no, for um, July. So let's jump into your cards for the Leo Rises. And we're starting with Cancer, which is in your 12th house. So that's Pisces themes. Pisces themes, which is also water, ruled by the water sign of Cancer. So there's a lot of watery themes with your spirituality, home and family. Um, yeah, maybe there's there's um, some form of spirituality with home and family, although that's can, the Cancian um, themes are fourth house, home and family, but this is the Cancer sign for you covering the twelfth house themes of Pisces. Um, then we've got second house, which is Taurus themes, and that's Virgo for you. 
uh, money and self-worth I always narrow it down to with that okay so so far 12th house and second house Pluto, well, I already mentioned Pluto was retrograde. We shouldn't fear the retrogrades. Um, any planet that's retrograde anyway is um, giving us the opportunity to reassess, reevaluate, um, redo, revamp, um, replace, re, 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 anything like that. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's an opportunity. Um, it doesn't have to be anything negative. Um, An 11th house. So you've got 11th, 12th and 2nd house so far. I mean, that's 12th because of the sign covers. The, that's the sign that covers your 12th house. Um, 11th house, what's that in Gemini? Yeah, I think it's Gemini 11th house for you. Yeah. Um, and then Uranus, which is the ruling planet of Aquarius which 11th house is Aquarius things. So that's how it's all connecting that way. Hmm. So money and self-worth, community and spirituality. Pluto, um, which is about excavating anything that's um difficult so that it can make room for the good to come in uranus um shakes things up so shaking up you know shaking away the sediment so that you can enjoy a spiritual community in a that has a family feel to it maybe Let's see what other cards come through. Fifth house, where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. Fifth house is like your rising sign themes. Fifth house is Leo themes. Ruled by sun, obviously. You probably already know that because you're Leo rising. Sorry to reach again. <laughs> I always do that because um, I'm trying to move things out of the way. Um, yeah, so what's in your fifth house? Isn't that Sag? That's also a fire sign. Fifth house is fire element because Leo is a fire sign, so it's the element of fire. Sag is a fire sign as well, so you've got fire going there. Air and earth. Well, you've got them all because you've got water as well. And Pluto covers the signs. It's the sign of Scorpio and eighth house. Yeah, so you've got a balance of all all the elements, actually. What's this? Libra, yeah. So you've got another air sign again. Where was air? Was air uh, 11th, 11th house, yeah. Um, Libra is about relationships and relating to others, business, romance, um, friendship, anything like that. Um, this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. Yeah, the perpetual seeker of balance is the Libran. Always seeking. Jupiter, Sag, um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and Sag is in your fifth house. And Jupiter, um, a lot of the time Jupiter is stereotyped as being good luck and I, I and with um, this deck and that deck, they they do that. So I'm taking it that way for you guys. Um, so your confidence, courage, self-belief and luck. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think you've got some good luck coming for sure. Something about community, relating to others, spirituality, self-worth. Perhaps some money as well. Um, ninth house. Well, that's Sagittarius themes. Obviously not in the ninth. In, Sag isn't in the ninth. It's in the fifth. What's in your ninth? Where have we got? Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. I think that's another fire sign. I think Aries is in your ninth. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, 
broadening your, your horizons, either spiritually, we tapped on 12th house spirituality, academically or on a long journey because um, Sag is about long distance travel, ex expanding, ex expanding your horizons, philosophy, um, expansive thinking, um, freedom. The 11th house, well, you've got the 11th house twice, so it's definitely about community. Where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends and social occasions. So we've got the luck coming through again. Wow. Good luck coming to you guys. Yay. I'm trying to do this because I want to squeeze them all in. Because um, you've got a few of these. Uh, boom, Aquarius. 11th house themes is in Aqu is Aquarius. Um, yeah, definitely something about community. Because 11th house is um, Uranus themed. There's your Uranus planet. The Uranus ruled Aquarius. Um, where's Aquarius for you? I think that's... Oh, wow. I think it's 7th house which is Libra themes. I know Libra's not in your seventh house. Um, I think it's what, third house, isn't it? Communications. Communicating with your community. Oh, there's a lot of luck coming in. Wow. Mercury, communication, the communication planet. Virgo and... Um, uh, not Libra. Virgo and Gemini are um the ones that, that are ruled by mercury and mercury is all about communication and mercury is not retrograde for a while again so mercury is direct how you think communicate right talk and travel travel again broadening your horizons now gemini was in your 11th so there's Mercury ruled there, and Virgo's in your second. So, yeah, definitely lots of communication going in some form. There may be travel, or it's travel through communities online in that sense. Broadening your horizons. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, I'm feeling a lot of expansive energy like a, a lot of things that want to um come in good it, it's it's good energy i mean yes you've got pluto and you've got the shaker of, of um uranus coming through but as i was saying earlier i think the two of these are about like you know if if you were um trying to sift something like um how would I put it? If you had sort of a, um, what are they called? Some sort of gauze or sifter thing and you there was a, a lot of dirt but you needed to shake away the dirt to find what was hidden inside, so to speak. Or if there was, if, if, if you had to, it had a patch of dirt that, you then were shaking the smaller bits out so you could find what's um, what's hidden there, like um, um, excavating. Um, what's it called? Um, where they dig for um, artefacts and that sort of thing as well. Stuff like that. Shake away the, 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 the little um, non-essential bits and pieces so that the the important bits come through and shine through, if that makes sense. The helpful bits. Okay, what else is here? Gemini, oh my goodness, here we go again. Mercury ruled Gemini. And Gemini was where? Gemini was, um, where was Gemini again? I keep forgetting. 11th house, of course. Gemini, 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 Gemini. <laughs> There's lots of communication going on. Pisces. Pisces was the themes of um, 12th house. 12th house themes covered by Cancer. 
Now, Pisces, where's your Pisces? I think Pisces is your eighth house. And here we go with Scorpio. Because I think we've had, um, we had Cancer and Pisces. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces. And this is in your eighth house and there's Scorpio. So there's your three water signs. Leo. <laughs> That's your rising sign, obviously. The, the lover, the mystic, the lover, the butterfly. Social butterfly, yes. Yeah, it, it, it's it's an energy that's exciting, I think, because you've got your Uranus, which is quite an electric planet, and look at the electricity here, you know, and the community. Yay, everyone, everyone's got their hands up and, and dancing around. Everyone's happy and celebrating. I think there's something that's going to be celebrated, perhaps even. Um, tenth house, reputation. Well, it's a, it, <laughs> look look at this person jumping and flying high with the eagles. It's gonna it's gonna help your reputation. Whatever's going on is going to be good for your reputation. That's for sure. Um, Quincunx, complexity. Well, there might be complexity in that. There's a bit of a shake up going on. That needs to happen perhaps to bring out all this good energy and there might be complexity because there, there's many parts to a community I think that's what that's about many many parts to the um, many uh, I don't know, what's the word for it many cogs in a wheel many um, Many parts to the machine, so to speak. Um, but it's all, all good things. Ascendant, well, that's your rising sign, outlook. Um, what the world sees of you first, whether we know it or not. Sextile, another, um, well, quincunx, I didn't explain, is an is what's known as an aspect. And it's a, a, it can be a bit difficult, but not always. Because sometimes it's it's about um, getting you to change, you know. It it supports making changes. Um, and this is sextile, which is opportunity, and it's also a, a an aspect, and it's one of the aspects you want to have in your chart. Because they're really good aspects. Sextiles and trines are the easygoing aspects. And you've got that. See, so that's where I'm thinking it's not really going to be a negative thing. It's just be open to shaking up whatever needs to shake up. Because it's going to help everyone and your reputation as well. See, because you've got Ascendant as well as Reputation, 10th House. Um, Capricorn ruled 10th House. Where's your 10th House? Taurus. Money and self-worth. Taurus things are in um, the sign of Virgo for you. What's this? Mars. Right. Well, Mars isn't retrograde and won't be retrograde all this year. In fact, this is the only planet that won't be retrograde. Now, this is in reverse. It says motion. Perhaps there hasn't been much motion because the universe wants something to shake up first. And then everything will be in forward motion. So either you have to allow it or you have to allow yourself to be a part of the shake-up in order to bring all these good energies forward. And here we go again. See, try and sextile. And it's upright. So you've got it twice. So this isn't going to be tough energy for you. Um... And yes, that says complexity, but I think it's more about that there's many personalities involved, many people involved in whatever this is in the community. Um, but yeah, some sort of change needs to be supported and brought in that is going to benefit really everybody 
including you. Yeah. Well, that that that's what I'm seeing, and that's gonna there's gonna be a lot of communication because there's a whole lot of Gemini as well as um, Aquarius energy. Um. Yeah. Mercury ruled Gemini, Uranus ruled Aquarius. So communicating, shaking things up to transform something and and improve things for you and everyone. Um, I think I've covered everything. So let's have a look at your numerology, Leo Rises. What numerology do you need to know about for July? What's your numerology for July? Okay. Yeah, definitely it's going to be good for your reputation, whatever this is. Um, so if something is starting to happen that seems like it's a bit of a shake-up, and a bit of excavating something difficult, don't be afraid of it because it's going to help your reputation once it clears, if that makes sense. Because it's making way for the new, new and the good that you can see right in the middle. It's all here. Okay. Leo rises. What numerology do they need to know? For July. It will help them. They're making me go through this one. Okay, you're making me look at Mars for some reason. Um, I think... I didn't touch on this before, but I think that until now you haven't taken action. It's been motionless. I think you've got to turn this guy around. I think you have to perhaps instigate this. I was, I was, um, not, um, I was sort of holding back from that train of thought for some reason before, but I think that's what's got to happen. You have to start the ball rolling, put it in motion so that then others will also uh, follow suit and then everybody can make that, bring that change together. So I think that maybe there's something that you perhaps need to uh, sort of maybe even if it's subtly but sort of start do do or say something that then starts to set things in motion so other people then um, do their part in the community yeah so I think that now that I've turned it around it, I, th I think that that was why I wasn't able to get any um, numerology because there was something I was missing okay so is there some numerology for the Leo Rises now what do they need to know for July oh, here we go yes and you I think and you is there any others yep Okay, now we're done. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. Synchronicity. What were we saying? Now purple, that's that's um the crown chakra. Pink, heart chakra. Eight, stability and money. Seven, mind and creativity. What have we been talking about? Mercury, the mind, Gemini. And, and then eight and seven together is six, which is temporary opportunity. 
I always say every time when temporary opportunity comes up, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll never come back. It just means it's now and take it, take the reins, jump at it and take advantage of the temporary opportunity. Compassion, compassion for yourself and others, perhaps. And we've got the crown chakra again. Nine, big beginnings, big endings and spirituality. And you've got a double, so it's a master number double because it's for everybody everybody involved in the community and then we have love well that's the throat chakra so speak lovingly see because libra likes balance and aquarius with the community so being able to have everybody voice lovingly to each other again temporary opportunity has come back again and perseverance yeah persevere with it green is the another heart chakra color which you know from one end to another and four is the number of the builder building your community persevere because it's worth it it's going to be worth it and like i said earlier it's going to be good for your career look leo is your rising sign right next to the reputation Yes, there's going to be complexity in, in that there are many different personalities involved and that to work with, but it's not negative energy here. You've got a lot of good energy coming through. Okay, so for Leo Rises, what abundance messages do they have for July? What are the Leo Rising abundance messages for July? Yep. yep. Oh my goodness, yes, there is. Okay, I think we're done now. Hmm, for some reason I have the urge to say that perhaps the number four, other than it being just the number of the builder, the number four might, um, the number four might have some some sort of bearing in some way too because i've got four here in a line four here and we've got four again that's going to be in another line so i think that or and or four 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 and this will be four as well okay so we've got you might want to look up um uh four 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 as well that's the angel number um, let the status symbols you seek most be self-made adventures that excite you at dawn, challenge you by day and surprise you by night. Self-made being the operative word. Creatorhood rocks the universe. Right, right. That's why I was thinking it, it, has, it, it has something to do with you instigating something. Because maybe the community is, maybe you have some sort of online presence and you are building, see, or have been building a community. And you are the head of it, so to speak. Um, and that's obviously where there's a lot of communication involved. And it's going to be good for your reputation anyway to um, shake things up, perhaps change, change something that might not have been working so well. That's where Pluto will help with the balance of Pluto and Uranus. And yes, Pluto's in retrograde, and this is the perfect time to do stuff like that because you're the, now looking at things that may be more of an improvement or something that might be... Um, maybe slightly sabotaging or not working as well as you thought it would and you can make that change shake things up a bit get a bit of good new energy coming in and everybody's going to jump around like a dance party because they're all going to be happy and so will you 
hopefully this makes sense so self-made it's probably because you've got some sort of online presence maybe you've got um a channel here on youtube or some sort of platform that you're working from a lot of good energy coming in for you guys okay and this one says do you know what's a million times better than getting to the top of the mountain getting there after having been lost oh yeah the universe yeah and that's that's um hitting up the energy of something maybe you felt lost a bit and something needs to shake up end of story something needs to shake up you need to instigate it um and communicate this and it's going to work in your favor and everyone else's <laughs> win-win like libra likes i know you're not libra but you've you know you've got everyone's got every sign you know libra's your third house with communication and mercury's right under libra see so right there in in your um reading okay behold a new day with rainbows sunshine and blue skies new players rebounds and recoveries boom what have we been talking about? Abundance, health and harmony. Just like you've been picturing them, right? Right? <laughs> Please tell me you've been picturing them. It takes so little, the universe. Yeah. I'd be looking up angel number 444. That, um, I think that's quite... Um, I've forgotten what that's about. Um, Ascended Masters is three, I think. But yeah, see, four, this will be four and four. So I think I keep thinking four, four, fours. Look that up and see if it, it resonates in some way for you as well. Um, the angel number four, four, four. Really and truly, money just isn't that important. Now, before you have a conniption, by all means, pursue it, spend it and roll around in it. But just don't let it become how the rest of your dreams will come true i know how just dream your dreams the universe exactly i think that there's some sort of um powerful angelic um meaning to 444 uh, to the number 444 so i would see what i mean 444 so i think that um that will be something significant for you as well. Um, let's see what the um, guardian angels want you guys to know for July. What are the guardian angel messages for the Leo rises? Well, well it's too many, isn't it? Yeah, that's. We'll jump in again. No, no way. That's four. I think I'm going to stay with four. Four is definitely a number for you in some way. Um, yeah. <laughs> but still look up four, four, four. Um, we'll see what's come through. Invitation. We, your guardian angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns as well as your joys and, and I was going to say, and abundances. Yeah, because abundance is coming in. That's why I'm thinking abundance. Um, as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal for we have known you since before the dawn of time in fact we know you better than you know yourself and we love you just as you are yeah oneness someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart remember dearest one that even though there has been a physical parting Spiritually, those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing, for all is interconnected and ultimately one. I think 
you also have loved ones in spirit spurring you on and helping you out from the sidelines. You might already know this. Um, if you don't, you do now. <laughs> Judgment. Let go of your fear of being judged. Yeah. Take action and put things in motion. Let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough. It is time to release all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and method for long enough. There is no right or wrong way. Just be you. Yes. I'm putting that on your ascendant and sextile. Be you. And the last one here is creativity. <laughs> New creator. Creatorhood. Didn't it say where? Self-made. Creatorhood. Yeah. Creatorhood rocks. There it says it there. Um. Creativity, we your angelic messengers are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. What, like I said, oneness, your spirit team, your loved ones passed on, angelics team, um, elementals, um, Archangels, Ascended Masters, everyone's ready to help you. So jump into the pool. You're ready to go. Take that Take that action. Put things in motion. Um, listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. Bam. What you do is important. It is valid. People need it. I, I, I want to say people need it. Whatever it is that you're offering and... <laughs> four is definitely there's something to do with four i don't know what it is exactly i would look up 444 the angel number um i don't know if it goes up as high as 4444 because four 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 and four so yeah i'll, I'll leave it to you guys to work that one out but i think i think you know what what your um mission is for july um but yeah creatorhood rocks create take action put things in motion shake things up and pluto and uranus it doesn't have to be a negative shake up it can be a shake up where it's something exciting and new which i'm getting the exciting energy with um aquarius and libra covering the relationship and, and com community side of things as well because um, Libra's in your third house with the Mercury communication thing. Wow. Wow. I, I Hopefully whatever, whatever it is, I think I've got the feeling you already know already where you're going with this for July um, and, and what you need to do. So I'm going to wish you all the best of luck with this because this is a lot of really exciting, good energy. I, uh, I'd love to know um, how things go for you and, and how it, how it um, plays out for you. Um, if you're open to leaving a comment, that'd be fantastic. You know, once, once you've come through the other side of July to um, find out how this energy came through for you. But yeah, with that, I'm going to wish you all the best of luck for this exciting time for you for July and onwards. And until next time, bye for now.